Picture this. The world's cars fueled not by crude oil, but by the waste products of sugar processing. It's just one of many goals for Professor Ian Paulson, who works at the cutting edge of synthetic biology. What we hope to do with synthetic biology is build designer organisms that can turn waste products into plastics, into chemicals, into fuels. So synthetic biology is a new science that sort of combines an engineering mindset with molecular biology techniques. Professor Paulson leads the ARC Centre of Excellence in Synthetic Biology. The team has a big mission to create a new bio-based economy delivering world-changing solutions. Commercially this is you know, a, a multi, multi-trillion dollar global market in the, in, in the future and Australia has great potential in this area. We're a nation rich in biomass with a long history of, of excellence in agriculture. He believes the biological systems the team is creating have the potential to rejuvenate regional Australia while turning agricultural waste into everything from bioplastics to pharmaceuticals. It's almost the stuff of science fiction. It's perhaps not surprising then that as a teenager, Ian Paulson was heavily influenced by John Wyndham, author of The Day of the Triffids. But I was inspired by a particular book he wrote called Trouble with Lichen, where the main character is a microbiologist. And, and, and comes up with a discovery with world-shaking results and that inspired me to want to go and want to become a microbiologist. Professor Paulson is also a gamer. He says strategy gaming can help his work. It develops a sort of a problem-solving mentality and so you can apply that mentality to science and you know try and work out strategies to you know achieve your goals. The need for strategy in solving problems is something he impresses on his students. Although he isn't required to teach in his current role, he enjoys it and considers it vital. I see a, a, an important part of my legacy is teaching and inspiring the next generation of scientists who, after I'm done and gone, will then go on to be, you know, make great discoveries and do important things for the world. A logical approach for a scientist with a vision for the future.